hello developers so as many of you requested on this short about flex color scheme theming the flutter app i got request for creating the full video for this package so i thought creating a detailed video from scratch to do proper theming setup in any flutter app and it will be very simple but because i'm doing everything from scratch so this video might be long so stick around and watch till end so that we can see the complete setup of flex color scheme from scratch and if you will watch this video till end you will understand like how in any flutter app you can do proper theme setup let's quickly create a new flutter project and it will be of type application and i will save it in flutter project folder and let's name it flutter theme app okay so app has been created let's remove everything and write from scratch void main run app and for run app we need material app and const my app and thanks to copilot but few things are not correct const my home page so let's create a just simple home page here home page home page dot dart and it will be a simple stateful widget stateful because we need to update the theme and i don't want to do proper state management here we will just use the simple state management for changing the theme and let's call it home page and let's import this and before coding further let's run it in the emulator so that it is also parallelly running okay so what we are going to do first i will create the basic ui and then after ui is created we'll do a proper light and dark theme switching setup and after that we'll add the flex color scheme package for different different kind of theming so let's start by creating a basic theme setup so here i want to just create a simple scaffold scaffold app bar and in the body let's have some text i bar and uh, i also want some floating action button here floating action button and here i'm going to just use it for changing the theme floating action button and it would be nice to have a few buttons at the center so that we can see the effect of the new theme so in the body in the center instead of text let's have a column and in the children will have few text and the copilot suggestion is fine let's make main axis alignment dot center okay so we have elevated button text button and outline button and let's also have a few checkbox and other things so that we can see the ui components check box dot adaptive value will be false for now on changed value and then we'll do nothing from here and instead of check box we can have switch that will look more nice okay so i did the const everywhere now basic ui is done let's handle the changing of theme so in flutter if you want to just switch the light and dark theme even you don't need flex color scheme for this 
so what you need to do in your main material app just provide the theme mode and for now let's write theme mode dot dark and for this to work you need to provide both theme dark theme and light theme so light theme is by default provided so let's provide the theme data dot dark now as you can see dark theme is applied and uh, light theme is by default applied so we don't need to explicitly provide that and this we will provide conditionally based on the theme mode if the theme mode is light then we will provide light so for that we need to also send a call back here so that once we will change this theme from the home page it is getting reflected here as well and if you are a, if you are using any proper state management solutions like provider block then you will have the setup for that like from the global state you can manage it but because we are going with this stateful approach and that's why we cannot uh, do it like directly here so i'm going to convert this into stateful widget and creating a state here bool is dark mode is equal to false and based on this is dark mode will provide the dark theme or light theme mode so if is dark mode theme data dot dark else theme data dot light and now it is again changed to light because this dark mode is initially false and next step is to updating this state variable from the home page so for that i'm going to create a function void toggle theme and it will basically change the light it will toggle the theme if it is light it will make dark if it is dark it will make light and we have to use that theme here in the home page so let's create a final void callback here final void callback on theme change on theme changed and let's pass that here this dot on theme changed and it will be nullable so add this mark here and let's pass that callback from here so on theme changed we can pass toggle theme and we need to remove const for that toggle theme done and the last thing let's attach that callback here on the not on the switch let's attach that here in the floating action button so on pressed let's call the widget dot on theme change you can attach anywhere but i'm just attaching it in this floating action button so let's save it and now as you can see on toggling of this on clicking of this button the theme is getting toggled so this was the basic setup for switching between light theme and dark theme in flutter one thing i missed let's cover it quickly so if you want to save this is dark mode flag locally and if you want your theme to be persistent so that it is not reset back to light theme after restarting the app then you can save this flag is dark mode into local storage using the set preferences package or high package and if you want to implement flex color scheme so why you need flex color scheme so let's say you, you don't want this kind of default flutter light and dark theme you want some nice fancy theme or some other theme and you have you want to have customization over all of the components elements like how you want them to look in your app so for that you have to use this flex color scheme so from the pub.dev just copy this flex color scheme and add it in your dependency here and let's wait for pubgit to complete okay so pubgit is done now let's utilize that flex color scheme package so for that first you need to go to this playground it will be very helpful for you if you will see this playground what you will get out of this playground you will get a look of your theme like how your application is going to look for different different components like buttons app bars 
icons outline buttons nav bar so there are bunch of components in flutter so all those components how how they are going to look in that theme you can see here in this playground and you can also toggle the theme here to see if how it will look in dark mode and how a particular theme will look in light mode so as you can see on the top left we have option to toggle the theme so once you will toggle the theme you can see the respective light and dark mode so here what you have to do from the right side you can select any of the theme that you think is good for your purpose so let's say i am looking for this kind of theme so all the color schemes these are all the color schemes primary for primary container tertiary secondary all these color schemes you can see for dark mode and if you want to see for light mode just toggle this theme and this is the exact light mode that you will see in your app once you will use this theme and not only the color schemes here are bunch of other things that you can see like if you will go on widget showcase you can see how different different widgets will look in this theme so if i will go from the right and select some other theme so now all the widgets are now according to the new theme and the theme code here you can get i will tell you about this later and there are some general settings that you can also configure like if you don't want to use material theme you can turn off material 3 you can have different different option like if you don't want to use component themes then you can also turn it off but everything is by default turned on and i would recommend you to go everything with by default that's what looks good to me and there are bunch of other options you can see here like shape radius you can customize it input colors color schemes blend colors effective colors so buttons how different kinds of buttons will look here just go in widget showcase switch your theme from the right and switch the dark mode and whichever theme looks good to you you can just use the code for that theme and also you need to look at this colors so that it is also intended to your use so this was the playground there are also lot of other things i cannot explain everything in this video otherwise video will be too long so just select any of the theme here from the right so let's say for now this this is fine and to implement this theme in your app like we are doing here you just need to create a file and if you are working proper with proper structure you will create a folder like themes and then in themes you will create a folder called app theme app theme start dart and in app theme start dart you need to paste this code so click on this theme code section and you will get code for that file so just copy it and this is by default turn on because we have created a separate file for theming and that's why it is on if you want to use it within your material app without creating a separate file you can just turn it off and you can see how you can use it in your application so i'm going with turn it on because we are using a separate file for theming just click this copy button everything will be copied paste it and now we have the code for our theme and let's have some basic understanding around it we are not using the material app or same file so they move everything here so this is a shield class app theme that we will reference in our main dot dot file here in the material app and here is two theme modes one for light mode and one for dark mode and here you can see the scheme this is the main scheme name that we are selecting from the right side so whatever you will select here on the right side you will get the name of this theme so here you can see deep purple amber blue and here it will also change the name amber it is selected amber so if i will select this one it is green m3 so that name you can reference here in scheme to apply that scheme in your application and these are some other properties you can play around it or you can turn off on off adjust it based on your requirement and same for the dark mode so this was the theme file now let's reference it in main.dart so here instead of 
giving this dark theme and light theme like this what we will do we can just use that file app theme dot dark and this app theme is the theme that we just created the theme file and here also in the same way app theme dot light in theme provide the light and in dark provide the dark and that's it we are good so this was the so this was so easy let's save it and as you can see now everything is updated according to the theme that i used here blue veil and let's switch to dark mode everything is updated and let's turn on this switch so that we can see the on status for switch so this is how it is looking in this thing and if you want to try some other theme you can just select other theme you will see the name what is the name green m3 go to your file here and in both places just change it to green m3 and save it you need to hot restart for theme to reflect and now as you can see the green m3 theme is applied everywhere in this application for dark and light both modes and you can play around here by selecting multiple themes so all the top right options that you see here in the playground here are also available just let's select uh, jungle we need to restart it and this is how it will look so you can select any theme from here and use it so that's all about setting up the flex color scheme in your flutter app there are also many other things like customization other properties how you can use each scheme based on some setting we cannot go in that depth but this was the complete setup for flex color scheme from scratch i hope this was helpful for you